So we're going to represent this problem 1 and 4 tenths divided by 7. And we're going to represent it using base 10 blocks. So here I have my 1 whole and my 4 tenths. Okay, so our 1 whole and 4 tenths. And I want to put it into 7 equal groups. So I really can think about this as in terms of tenths. So I have 10 tenths here, and I'm going to trade it out for 10, 10 tenths. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total tenths. And I can just squeeze those together, and I'm going to put them into seven groups. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so there's my seven groups, and I still have some left over, so I'm going to split those up into those seven groups too. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so there are my seven groups, and I have a total of 1 and 4 tenths, or 14 tenths, split into seven groups, giving me 2 tenths in each group. All right, let's do another example with base 10 blocks. And we're going to use 63 hundredths, and we're going to divide it into three groups. So I'm going to use my base 10 box again, and I have 6 tenths and 3 hundredths, or 60 3 hundredths. And I want to put it into three different groups. I have my 3 hundredths, so those can easily go in one, two, three groups. And now I'm going to take my tenths. One group, two groups, three groups. And there's my three groups, and they're all equal. There is 21 hundredths in each group. 